Hi guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today with a skincare video, and I'm basically going to be talking about all the things that I use on my face, and I've ever used on my face, and just in general, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, that sort of thing. And I just want to say up front, everyone's skin is different, yada yada yada, so if you guys don't agree with some of the things I use, or you think some of the things that I use aren't so great, I encourage you to voice your opinion, but in a constructive and nice way. So anyway, I'm just going to get started. I want to talk about my skincare story if you will. Basically, the struggles and things that I went through with my skin in the past couple years and everything. Because you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, that I did go through a little bit of a battle with my skin. And I did so many different things to get rid of my acne and none of them seemed to work. I did get acne. It just happened to me after my freshman year, so like the summer before sophomore year. I don't know where it came from. It just appeared on my face like little angry mountains and it wasn't very fun at all. I felt absolutely naked if I went out in public without foundation on. It wasn't bad to the point that it was like cystic or anything that required like intense treatment or anything. It was just really annoying teenage acne that I had no control over and I just hated with all of my might. I hated it and I wanted it gone. So anyway, I did a lot of different things. I used a lot of different products and actually a lot of them failed me. Most of them failed me, like 99% of them failed me, um, except for a couple which seemed to work um, at the time. First one I want to talk about is the Clarisonic Mia, which is very talked about here on YouTube. But basically, it's like a toothbrush for your face. Uh, quote unquote L Fowler, want to say one of those? Blair L? I don't know. It worked for me for a couple of months. Um, I used it full on thinking that if I use it long enough it'll work and it'll be awesome and it was pretty awesome. It does a great job of cleaning my face but I feel like it didn't do anything extra and it didn't like really get rid of my acne. It did a great job of cleaning and I use it every once in a while when I really want that clean look where I feel like my makeup's just not really coming off and I usually use this on nights where I put on a lot of makeup, like a lot of heavy makeup, like if I'm going to a dance or like, you know, out anywhere I usually use this to clean my face, but if not, I use another method, which I'll talk about in a little bit. This is overall a great system, and this is the Gentle Hydro Cleanser that comes with it. So if you guys are looking at this, or you're kind of on the edge of buying it, I do recommend it. However, I did find another system that has worked better for me since this. So anyway, I do want to talk about, super quick, the products that I actually use to this day to clean my face and that have been working to maintain my clean skin. I'm not saying that these products got rid of my acne, but they did certainly help and they were kind of that final push to make my skin looking nice and fresh. The first product I want to talk about is kind of like a toner, if you will. I know you guys have probably heard gurus like Miss Glamorazzi and Michelle Phan talking about toners and like, what what is a toner? I'm not even quite sure about what a toner is. I know like the concept, but I don't really know what goes into the formula and everything that makes it do what it do do what it does. Can I speak? This is by Clean and Clear. You guys can get this from the drugstore. It's called a deep cleaning astringent. It is salicylic acid, which is an acne medication, very frequently put into acne creams and topical treatments and that sort of thing. So basically, this kind of does a little bit of drying out to your skin, which can be bad for people with dry skin. But I have pretty darn dry skin. I have very, very especially in the winter, dry skin, and this does not do anything really bad to my skin, like in my personal experience. Uh, what I do is I take a nice little cotton pad and I get this um, wet after I've taken off my makeup and I just apply it you know, on my problem-ish areas that tend to get very oily or just really acne-y, which is probably on the tops of my cheeks. That's where I get the most acne currently, um, which isn't really acne, it's kind of just redness. And also a little bit of the remnants and kind of scarring happens in my cheek area for me, in my personal experience. And I also do use this in the morning sometimes, really just sporadically, whenever I feel like I need it. And I don't use this every day. I don't recommend using it every day. I've used like none of it because a little bit does go a really long way Way, especially because it is fairly drying so I recommend this I use this I would say probably twice a week and something I also use twice a week to combat my dry skin is the clean and clear morning burst facial scrub and as you guys can see I really love my clean and clear products and I'm not being sponsored by them I know some gurus are sponsored by them but I'm not I'm just a lover of clean and clear just naturally because I've been growing up using them and everything I show this in my past favorites video I'm in love with it and this is a really great job of just waking me up and exfoliating my skin and I alternate between these throughout the week so you know Monday Wednesday I'll use that and and then Tuesday, Thursday, or something, I'll use this, you know, that sort of thing. I don't use them all on the same day because it's a lot of harshness in my face. I try to be as gentle as possible because that is what I've learned throughout this skincare journey, that you want to use the least amount of products and the less amount of 
force and pressure to get rid of the problem areas and such. Next thing that I've been using for a while, I think I've been using this for about a year now, which is interesting. I have like thrown some other products into the mix, but mainly I've been going back to this, which is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash, and it's basically just this white tube with all this frothy face wash in it, and I love it. And the one that I'm currently using is my Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I left my curling iron on, or not on, but like too close to it, and it burnt a hole in the side of my uh, little jar, but I absolutely love this for getting rid of my dry patches. It does an excellent job, better than any other product I've tried, and this huge, like tub, this is filled up to the brim and it has lasted me a year. It's definitely very thick and it does a great job of getting rid of every little flake and dry patch that is on your face. So those are the products that I use to cleanse and to clean my face and make it nice and clean. But the biggest, biggest thing that I've learned from this whole journey is that the less products you use on your face, the better. So this is gonna sound weird to some of you guys who are used to religiously cleaning your face and everything. I don't wash my face twice a day. I only wash my face at night, and then when I wake up in the morning, I splash some cold water on it, and I use my astringent on every other day, um, or every two days a week sort of deal, and then I just pat it dry with a nice, clean uh, washcloth. I'm very gentle, very clean, and I literally just use cold water and splash it on my face. I do use my Neutrogena makeup wipes uh, to make sure all my makeup is gone off my face, which does a great job of cleansing as well, but I do just use the bare minimum and I use what I need to and nothing more than that and I've learned that that has definitely helped because the more products you're putting on your face the more harshness that your skin has to handle and you know back in the caveman days no one used face wash and their skin probably was you know maybe decently okay. The next thing that I want to talk about is the main way that my acne has been cured and it's also a very controversial way that you can cure your acne which some people will not agree with but once you listen to me hear me out then you can comment your opinion opinions and just keep in mind, be positive, be respectful, that sort of thing. I have been using birth control for six months now and I finally worked up the courage to allow myself to talk to you guys about it. Currently I use Junel, which is J-U-N-E-L, and I don't want to show you guys the exact packaging because it has my name all over it because they're prescription, but um, this is kind of what the package looks like once you open it, and I, this is a used up month, but I kept one so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. I just stick it by my sink and I take one a day. If you guys are not familiar with uh, birth control and all that, definitely talk to your parents and your doctor. I'm really recommending it to you guys because it's very important to have that discussion with your doctor and your, mo your mother your parent, whoever, your parent guardian in the room and just have a group discussion about the pros and the cons and whether it's right for you, that sort of thing. I had really irregular, really painful periods that made my life just hell and my acne was bad and my acne was, turns out, hormonal acne which was really nothing I could do about except for, you know, control my hormones like with birth control. As you guys can probably tell by the title, of birth control. Um, my birth is controlled. Wait, it could be an awkward concept with some people that don't quite get it, but that has definitely helped with my skin. It, it literally cleared up my entire face within a month of being on it, and I was so surprised. I was relieved, but I was so surprised because at first I was so skeptical about being on birth control. I was more scared that people would ask me and people would literally rip me apart for being on birth control because it can be a controversial issue. You'd be surprised how many of your friends are on birth control but you don't know because a lot of mine are that I'm just finding out now about. and. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to keep it secret because definitely, you know, no one really needs to know. You should keep it on the DL because why would you go running around telling everyone you're on birth control, you know, that sort of thing. And I actually feel comfortable talking to you guys about it, which is awesome. And I know people at my school watch this video and will probably judge me real hard, but I just ask you guys to be respectful now that I've gotten that out of the way. And my camera is dying, so I'm not quite sure how much more of this you're gonna see, but I'm gonna keep on going as much as I can. I just wanted to touch on the products that I use on my face currently to cover my redness because now that I've used the certain products that I've mentioned, my face has cleared up significantly and it's really awesome. I'm smiling here thinking about how awesome it is because I'm just so proud of myself for somehow coming up with something that works. I hope you guys can all experience this feeling someday that you're actually kind of content with your skin and you can feel like you can go out and hang out with your guy friends and not worry about them 
staring at your acne. So currently I use BB creams to cover the remaining redness and acne that I experience on my face. And my favorite brand is Dr. Jart. I have two BB creams from Dr. Jart. I have this one, which is just the black label, and then I also bought this one off of Sephora just to try something new, because this one is specifically for people with dry skin, and I just wanted to give it a try. But um, pretty much, I love the Dr. Jart BB creams. They are awesome because they're not quite a foundation, obviously, they're a BB cream, because they have a series of moisturizers, sunscreens, it does a great job of incorporating good things with coverage, which is awesome. And these have SPFs of 25 in them, which is awesome because it'll protect your face from the skin, from the skin, protect your face from the sun, even though it might not be as severe and like, you know, out there as it is in the summer, it's still going to affect your skin. So anyway, um, I'll let you guys know what I think about this since I've used it a lot. This is the Water Fuse Multi-Action Skin Care Plus Makeup, and it's basically just the same thing, but in a different package and different stuff, apparently. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of it, but so far, I love the Dr. Jart Black Label Detox. I can't speak. Um, it has a nice pump, but the thing about the pump is it doesn't get all the way down, so there's still so much product in here. I've literally just been, you know, patting it out on my hand and using it from there. And I think I speak for Megan Rosette as well when we say that BB creams are the bomb.com. I love mine. And I definitely recommend it for people who maybe have tried a tinted moisturizer and want something that'll cover their acne a wee bit more than that, but don't want the full coverage of a foundation. And obviously I do use concealer on top, but I've actually stopped using um what's it called powder because one of you guys in my video suggested it in one of my tutorials and I was like nah that's so stupid because I'm an ignorant youtuber and I always think that I'm right sort of thing so I just tried it one day and I was surprised by how the coverage worked flawlessly without a foundation or without a prime what am I saying? Powder. So I was like, huh, why not skip a step on a daily basis? So I haven't been using one at all, and I don't use a primer either because it's built in and my life is awesome. My routine has been sped up so drastically that it's just awesome. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned some things, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!